Good morning, Lisa with the Peacock Parlor. I have some finds that I thought I would share with you. The first one is this beautiful piece of vintage lace that I picked up at a local thrift shop. More antique, antique mall, I guess you might want to say. And this is the pattern. It's really very pretty. So I've been having fun using that on a few journals that I've been working on, which I'll share with you in a different video. So there's that. And then the rest of my finds here are from a Hobby Lobby trip that I took. Of course, there um, I picked these up to make little ice cream sundaes with my granddaughters and these little American flags. And I think... They were 50% off. All of them were. I want to put these in some plants outside. They're American flags. So I'm going to do that. And then the rest, everything else I got was 50% off or more. These are charms. And they are charms by me. I thought they were very pretty for journal pages or maybe to make earrings with and I picked up two of these I just think they're really pretty very sparkly and there's two of those and those are the charms and then I picked up these they're um frog closures fabric frog closures that you could use on journals once again, these were 50% off. They're originally $3.49 each. And I picked up two of each of those. To use as closures on my journals. These were uh, two six. Well, one was $2.99 and one was $2.69. So the 50% half of that. So that's a pretty good deal for a closure. Same price here, $2.99. And then um, all of their sewing notions, which is what this is considered a sewing notion by Sewology. Um, they were all 50% off. And so these are, whoops, <laughs> some threads. that I picked up. They were $1.50 each. And then there were some bobbins. A friend of mine just picked up a sewing machine and didn't have any bobbins. I'm not sure if she can use either one of these, but I picked those up for a friend. All right, and then these are some pieces of lace that I got. This is a little bit more, usually a little more expensive. This is like five and six dollars a yard these pieces are but they were half price so if there was a time to get it now now is the time really pretty thought they would make pretty pockets and maybe some bands this one is almost beaded I don't know if you can see those little beads. Very pretty. And then all of these were half price. This was a damaged spool. I mean, it doesn't have the other end, but I think all of the crocheted lace was on it. This was originally $9.99, so $5 for that roll, and there's nine feet on here. Most ribbons have three feet, so same here, nine feet on this one. These make great pockets, that's why I picked these up, nice wide pockets. 
And then these are already made ruffles to put on some journal pages. And I thought, well, I could always tea stain them or coffee stain them or dye them. And they were $3.99. So half of that, two bucks. And that is, how much is on there? Six feet. And then I got it in red. I have a poppy journal that I'm making for my daughter. I'm going to use that in the poppy journal. And then these I picked up. Their, um, their rosettes. Let me cut it open. Those will look nice as embellishments on fronts of journals or, um, definitely going to use one somewhere in the poppy journal I think I'm going to try anyway and then this was the last piece of ribbon ribbons and trims were 50% off this isn't coming in very not coming in very clear they're little rosettes okay and um then they had these paper pads. I did do a video. Um, it kind of cut off towards the very end, so I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. But they had these paper pads that are originally $21.99. They were on sale for $5.49. So there are over 60 sheets of paper. They're very heavy weight. And the second pad, um, this one here, um, has some Christmas designs in it that feel like wallpaper but I'll flip through you can see the cover these are the different designs on it or in it I love this one it looks like watercolor that would make a beautiful journal cover They're all pretty. I just, I thought for five forty-seven, definitely. I, I mean, I have enough scrapbook paper. I have a lot of pads that I really do need to, to use up. But in this, I don't have as many Christmas. But if you look closely, you'll see. But there's either jingle bells or pine cones or something. Pine needles that spruce it up and make it look very Christmassy. And I have Christmas journals in mind for these. Okay, so those are my finds for today. At that was at Hobby Lobby. And I hope that it inspires you and uh, that you all have a great day. Thank you for watching.